YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what's going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, DJ Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. I was just about to say fragrance review. It's the same thing. Tag on. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time. <laughs> of course, it's your guy. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deja Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video, all right? So today we're talking some clone fragrances and these are some that I feel are, are um, underrated. They don't get a lot of conversation or, or, or a lot of love and they're really good. Um, and I've seen people talk about them, but that's not what underrated is. There's popular clones out there. Of course, you got Hawass and you got Intense Man and you got several different others that are just uh, at 9, 9 p.m. that are like talked about all the time. But these are not. I rarely see any conversations or content about them, especially on a consistent basis. So I want to show them some love and bring them to your attention if you possibly never heard of these, all right? So today we're going to be talking seven, seven underrated clone fragrances that are in my collection. And these are really, really, really good, all right? So smell good family. Hopefully y'all are well and doing great, doing fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here on this channel. Let's go ahead and get into it, all right? So up first, this line is really, really, really good. And there's one, maybe two from the line, but this is like the forgot about <laughs> of the line. I don't hear no one talking about it from time to time. I may hear mention of it, but this was really, really good, especially if you like coffee and whiskey. Mm. From the house of Paris Corner, from the Amir line, we have your drug, your drugs. This is a crazy fragrance. Look at that black juice. It's a dark black juice. I would not spray this on anything white or light colored, but man, you get this really roasted coffee with uh, uh, definitely a whiskey boozy touch to it, a uh, cinnamon sweet and spicy type of vibe. This is really, really good, especially in the cooler months. This is a great date night fragrance for sure. Um, this is a clone of, um, I think it's Killian's Intoxicated. I believe that's in this, I think it's Discontinued. But this is a great alternative to that if you have a little bit intoxicated left or you don't want to wear your intoxicated. Look into this one, man. I've never smelled intoxicated, so I can't put my signature on that. But a lot of people who have both say, yeah, it's really close and it's really, really good. Good quality here as well. Doesn't get talked about a lot in the community. But if you're into, this is a roasted coffee, whiskey, sweet and spicy uh, effects to this fragrance. This stuff is awesome. Last a good bit, good performer, and it's just good stuff from the house of Paris Corner from the Amir line. We have your drug. Does not get talked about a lot in the community, and it should be in my opinion. All right. Up next, I just got this fragrance not too long ago, and I gotta shout out my guy Goldie Smell Good for putting me on. And the one that is uh talked about a lot, it should be. That's a clone of Initials Atomic Rose. But this is definitely more like Atomic Rose than Latafa's Amethyst. From the House of Mason Alhambra, we have Infinity Rose. This is definitely more spot on to Atomic Rose. So Amethyst from Latafa is more of a, a Atomic Rose with a twist with the, introdu with the introduction of that oud into the DNA. But this is bright, beautiful, fresh, sweet and powdery rose, jammy, citrus there's a vanilla in here as well yo this is real good and it's a sneaky real good performer i mean real good i mean i'm talking 10 hours good so this has got it's not a beast mode projection wise but it hovers around all day long so don't really see too much conversation goldie put me on i saw goldie talking about it. i said oh yeah I said, well, Goldie talking about it. I got to see what's good with it. So I'm glad that I have it in my collection. This is very much closer than Atomic Rose than Amethyst is. But this is fire. Great stuff. Underrated. Don't see too much conversation about it. I've seen some people say something about it, but ain't a lot of talk about it. I believe it deserves a little bit more hype. From the house of Mason Alhambra, we have Infinity Rose. Infinity Rose. Beautiful bottle, too. Beautiful bottle. All right. Up next. 
from the house of Ajmal. I know this one is a little older, but I hear no talk about this. Me personally, I've probably seen two other reviewers talk about this fragrance. Could be more, I don't know. I don't watch everybody, but I could, could be more, but I ain't seen too much. And it's a really good clone, man. From the house of Ajmal, we have Evoke Gold Edition. Now this is a stellar clone, stellar clone of Prada Lone, the original. Beautiful powdery iris, clean and fresh. The difference between the two is from the original, the quality is, is, is about the same in both, um, but this one outperforms the original. So if you're looking for a little bit more performance, this has you covered. Now, like I said, I stumbled across my guy, Jeremy, from the House of Colossus talking about this one, his older videos last year. And I was looking for a Prada Lone clone. I didn't. I already had Prada Lone low, but I said, man, I do want to have the original DNA. And he was talking about this and I copped it, man. I said, wow, why isn't, you know, why isn't there more conversation about this fragrance? I, I just didn't understand that. Um, but I'm glad I was listening. So shout out Jeremy for putting me on to this for sure. But this stuff is awesome. Great razor close clone of the original Prada Lone and it lasts a little bit longer as well, but not a lot of conversation about it. I think it's good if you're into this style of DNA from the House of Ajmal. We have like what is it called Evoke, Evoke Gold Edition. Great office wear fragrance for sure. Great for the office, no doubt, all right? Up next, I've only seen one other reviewer, two. I've seen two reviewers talk about this and I got this bottle probably two years ago. I haven't worn it a lot myself, um, but it's super good. You know, we have a, I guess some of y'all might know, have a large collection. It's kind of hard to wear a lot of stuff consistently. But anyway, this is supposed to be a blend of two parfums and Marley. Carlisle infused with Layton. And I get that. From the house of Haramain, we have Detour Rouge. Or Rouge. Yeah. Carlisle and Layton. Boom. That's what you get. Especially in the opening. Just get that in the air. Great atomizer. There's this apple crispness, excuse me. There's this apple crisp that's really present. I know there's apple in Layton, but there's also apple in Carlisle. But in here, in this bottle, that green apple, it's there. It's out in front before the vanilla and the spices. There's no mintiness, a little bit more woods here as well. But I do get the infusion of the two, all right? It's clear to my nose, especially in the opening. Now, as this dries down, it's all Layton. It's all latent as this dries down, but in the opening, you do get something different, especially if you have worn or experienced the original uh, Detour, I think it's Detour Noir from Haramay, which is all latent for sure. But this is really, really good. It's been sitting for a while and I just sprayed it just now and I can smell like this rich fragrance just kind of hovering right in front of me. So maybe this is macerated a bit and maybe I should give it a wear and see exactly um, if it's improved since the last time. Uh, that I wore, but this is really, really good stuff. No one talks about it. I know it's on Fragrance Buy. Um, I haven't really seen it in stock like that, but I know it's on Fragrance Buy, and it's um, it's it's worth looking into for $23, $24, $25. That's how much this costs. From the house of Haramain, we have Detour Rouge. Detour Rouge, all right? No one talks about this fragrance, all right? Up next, man, one of my great pickups from last summer especially when you're talking about uh, from clones, from the house of Paris Corner, from the Amir line, we have Just Bergamot. Talking about fresh and clean and citrusy, yes sir. Yes sir, I gotta get that out there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes sir, <laughs> this is a clone uh, from Leila Bowles, Bergamot 22, and you get a lot of bergamot here. Uh, tart, citrus, uh, bright and fresh musk um, as uh, there's um, a, a white floral touch to this as well as it continues to dry down um, grapefruit vetiver and oh it's just awesome and for a hot day especially with me living here in Jacksonville Florida oh yeah in the heat of the summer this is gonna work but I don't see nobody talking about it like no one's talking about it this is an excellent summertime scent we know the Leila Bow line is a little bit more expensive. You can pay 35 bucks for this and you can, or even cheaper, and you can get a very good citrus, bright and tart, fruity. Oh, it's great. You can get this for a really good price. And as y'all can see, I got this last summer and the dent is like that. 
yeah the dent is in that bottle man it's a 100 ml bottle man and it's really really good so you're talking about freshies for the summertime if you're interested and you're looking for one i'm telling y'all look into this bergamot excuse me just bergamot it's like that I don't see much conversation about it i just don't i just don't but i'm going to talk about it from the house of paris corner from the amir line we have just bergamot yes sir big fan of this stuff man big fan all right all right next up man i talked about this for a good bit a few years back and i haven't worn it um i just put it on skin the other day and i was reminded how good this is now the reason i haven't worn it is because i have every bottle of what it's calling um but this is still great this is still great and i hope this isn't discontinues for those who are going to look for it my apologies if it is but i haven't seen much or any talk about it whatsoever from the house of Haramain once again, Al Haramain, we have Amber Oud Blue Edition. Amber Oud Blue Edition. Now this is a great, great, great clone of Blue Chanel. Now I know our moth has some clones out there, but um, guys, this is the best clone of Blue Chanel that I've ever smelled. Now it's more along the lines of the EDT and the EDP kind of playing around with each other. Um, fresh, zesty, citrus, um, sandalwood, clean. Man, they did a really good job. This is their take on it. Now, I know there's um, Masoni Pour Ohm. That's really, really good. Spin on uh, Blue de Chanel. But this right here, I think this is better than the Masoni. Um, and I, I, I'm I, sparingly wearing it. I know a couple of my friends, they've had two and three bottles of this stuff. Um, but I've had this for almost three years now. And it's excellent. And, and when I used to wear this, I used to wear this to the gym. I used to wear this to the gym, and now I wear my EDT to the gym. So I got plenty of Blue Chanel DNA, but this is a really good one. Great quality here. The packaging, the cap snaps into place. You get the gold plate uh, here. It's just real good stuff. Real defined bottle. Great clone of Blue Chanel. Um, I haven't smelled the Armoff one. Don't really know too much about it, but I know it's popular out there. But I can't sign off on this one that this is quality, but no one talks about it. Some of y'all probably watching be like, what is that? Trust me, it's a really good, really good depiction of Blue de Chanel. From the house of Al Haramain, we have Amber Oud, the Blue Edition. Don't sleep. It might be discontinued, so my apologies yet again. And last but not least, from the house of Alexandria, man, this, uh, sometimes I, uh, look, Dior Ohm, Parfum, is like that it's sought after and people really really want it but man did alexandra crush this they crushed this man from the house of alexandra fragrances we have leather intense this is direct inspired by fragrance of dior own parfum sometimes i'm like bro especially on the dry now i'm like yo which is which <laughs> which is which i think if you don't want to pay the price of dior own parfum I think if you have your own parfum and you want your bottle to be preserved like me, then grab this. I caught this for a crazy end of the year sale back in 2022 for Alexandra. I got this for like 40 bucks for 100 ml. They had a bunch of different ones on sale, this crazy flash sale, and I got this for like 40, 45 dollars off Alexandra, 100 ml bottle. But this is super close. It's super close lately to preserve my dear own parfum. And I, I, I almost got a full 100 ml bottle of it, but I spray this on. So if I'm going to work, I'm wearing this before my dear own parfum. I'm going to pull the your own parfum out, you know, for other things. But this is super close and no one talks about leather and tin. Somebody from the Smell Good family put me on it. I'm sorry if I can't remember who it was, but they're the reason why I got it because I saw the flash sale. I said, oh, let me check it out, man. I got the own parfum. Maybe this can help me preserve it. And it definitely has. This is really good. Alexandra did a great job for sure on this fragrance. Good, inspired by version of Dior Own Parfum. Alexandra Fragrances, Leather Intense. Underrated, underrated. All right. All right, Smell Good Family. So those are seven. Yes, seven of, I feel, some of the more underrated clone fragrances in my collection. Yes, there's conversations about them, but it's not consistent love, consistent conversation as some of the more uh, celebrated clones um, in Fratcom, all right? So look into these. If you're interested, I don't I don't know about getting samples. I don't know where you could get samples. Frag Bar does samples, but bang for your buck type of situation here. So if you have to spend 30, 35 bucks and you're 
not too cool with it, you can gift it to somebody, man. It probably won't hit you in the pockets that hard, all right? So good stuff here, underrated clones for sure. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Um, drop some more, some underrated fragrances that are clones that, you know, that we need to be put up on. Y'all let us know, let me know what we got out there, all right? And until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Smell good family, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the support. And as always, splack it up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around. And remember, what you put onto this world is exactly, is exactly what you are going to get back. All right, y'all, be cool. And of course, brother. <laughs>